Yo, 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 I am in the building. Yes, sir. In the building. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that intro, DJ Ryan Wolf. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That was DJ Ryan Wolf. Thank you, everybody, for coming on. Thank you for watching. This is Lockout Men. And welcome to the Lockout Men podcast show. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just just a quick podcast for you for today. Today's topic, man, is a very interesting topic. It deals with uh it deals with a former US Express driver. And how she got ambushed. Just like your guy. Yes, I did a video because I used to work for U.S. Express. And I, the similarities of, of me getting terminated from U.S. Express and this young lady getting terminated from U.S. Express is almost identical, man. It's almost identical. You know, it, it was like I was I was brought into the brought into Eternal Hill under false pretenses. You know, the driver tech was messed up and they brought me in and they say, hey, you know, I get a call from my fleet manager and she says, hey, you know, we need to bring you into Tunnel Hill to get your driver tech fixed. So I'm like, yo, what do you mean? Get my driver tech fixed. I'm. Already got it set up with with the terminal in Ohio, Springfield. So she was like, no, 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 we, we want you to come to Tunnel Hill. I said, wait a minute. You want me to deadhead six, five or 600 miles to Tunnel Hill to get my driver test fits? I'm going on my home time, Haley. I'm about to... I'm about to go on my home time, so I'm about to drop the tra the, the tractor off at Springfield and, and let them fix it there. No, no, no. We, we, we want you to come into Tunnel Hill. So I'm being the new Jack. I'm, I'm still new in the game, two years with them so far. And I'm over here like, huh, okay, no problem. Hey, you know, all right, you're going to give me, you you're going to bobtail me. No problem. I, hey, let's do it. I bobtail. You know, I'm making a long story short because, like I said, the similarities of this young lady getting terminated from U.S. Express is damn near identical, man. So I get in. I, I get in. You know, put the you know put the tractor in the shop. They fits it. Simple fits. Whatever. I go see her, and. I say, hey, I'm ready to go. Let's roll. Let's roll. Um, a young, a, a, a lady, a new lady from safety wants to talk to you right quick. You know, talk to me. Talk to me for what? Like, any idea? And mind you, these, you know, the dispatcher, oh, my God. And she ain't give me no forewarning, even though she knew about the shit. But she ain't say nothing. She was like, no, nah, I. I, I don't know. Uh, you know, you, you gotta go in and, and and just talk to him and then then after that we'll 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 get back to rolling. I'm like, okay, let's go. So I go in there, they shut, you know, Haley comes in, and then the dude, the fleet owner of the fleet, I guess, not, I, I only spoke to this dude one time. One time. And he's in there. He's like, hey, uh, LaShawn, how you doing? I was like, yo, bro, what's going on? Long, you know, we it's unfortunately that we gotta meet up under these circumstances. And I'm like, what circumstances you talking about, bro? What are you talking about? So he was like, Yeah, uh, circumstances, whatever. I was like, whatever, man. Okay, what? Um, we wanna know, uh, you know why you came into the to the terminal today? And I was like, Yeah, you know. Haley said we need to get the driver tech fit, so that's what I'm here for. Uh, did you make a video on it? And I goes, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I shared my thoughts on 
on the driver tech because it was the second time that the motherfucker broke down on me and I, I got upset because I damn near got a ticket from DOT because of it. So, you know, I mentioned something about it. So to make a long story short, they they terminate me, they terminated me because I made a video. But the what they said what it was for is because I ha- I was holding a handheld uh my they said I was holding my phone and I wasn't holding my phone. I had my GoPro strapped to my wrist and I was making a video from there. So fast forward five years later or three years later, because it was in 2017 when when I was let go from U.S. Express to this young lady right here. Bing. Now, check this young lady out. That is Kayla. On her YouTube channel, go and check her out. Uh, her and her, uh, her and her girlfriend, uh, Aliante, Eliante. I can't never pronounce her name, but she got a she got a cool YouTube channel. But this is uh, Kayla's individual channel, so take check her out. I mean, check her out, Kayla Taylor. Now, my guy, shout out to my guy, Jarvis Jones, Mister JJ himself. He sent me. He sent me this video, and in the comment, I, I, let me let me read what what he uh, what he said right quick. Now, he's a fan of hers too. We're both are actually actually we've been we both been following them for a long time. They they started at Warner, then they came to U.S. Express. Um, Eliante, Eliante, her girlfriend has over a hundred thousand subscribers because of the way she speak. I think she's from the islands, y'all. She's from the islands. So he sent me, he, he sent me this right quick. Um, I want to see if I can, can I, can I bring it up? Let me, nope. I don't think I can bring it up. Hold on. Okay. No, I I don't think I can bring it up, but I can read it to you. So this is from my man Jarvis. And I tell you guys, all my subscribers send me send me all kinds of articles, all kinds of videos, all kinds of things. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to to my man Jarvis Jones. He says, hey, bro, what's going on? He says, I hope all is well. Hey, can you do me a favor and find out what's going on with this young lady, Kayla Taylor? She was recently fired from U.S. Express for allegedly speeding. But honestly, I believe there's much more deeper involved because she team drives with her with her girlfriend. Um, can you get a hold of her and do an interview on your show? I would love to have to, to have her complete side of the story. What what really what real what I really would like to know is is US Express is actually a discriminatory company by firing by firing a lesbian driver, etc. Does she feel like she was discriminated against? Those are just some of the questions I would love for her to answer on your show. Below is the link to her termination video. Thanks, Lockout Man. So, in actuality, I, I reached out to this young lady and, uh, and Leonte, uh for an interview uh, a while back. I believe when she, was, when she was solo driving for U.S. Foods. I think she was a local driver. And I wanted to bring her on. Uh, I wanted to bring her on so she could talk her experience with U.S. Foods Uh, to this very day. I mean, to this (laughs) to this day, still haven't heard nothing back from her. Um, But uh, but that's okay though. That's okay. You know, they're busy or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Some people accept the invites. Some people don't. You know what I'm saying? Um, If you happen to get an invite from me and want to come on the show, I I appreciate you coming on the show, but if you don't want to come on the show or something like that, you know, that's cool too. You know, I got I got a lot of drivers that said, no, nah, I don't think it's for me. And, you know, 
but thanks for asking and yada yada yada. And I'm I'm still cool. But this particular video, this particular video kind of struck a chord with me because they done her the same way just identical as they done me they 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 pulled her into the office and they pretty much ambushed her you know what i'm saying and her fleet manager sitting there like oh well i know that this was gonna happen bullshit you did know it was gonna happen this like my fleet manager knew it was gonna happen so here's a little bit of here's a little bit of what uh what she had to say just a little bit so to start um like i already said in the last video uh i you know i got a call from safety saying that i was speeding so basically our trucks are governed at 66 miles per hour on cruise control off cruise control on the pedal only is 62 so wait hold up hold up kayla hold up 62 when in the hell did u.s express go to 62 miles an hour on the pedal now on the on the cruise control when i drove for u.s express it was just 65 all the way but 62 on the pedal and 65 on cruise how was you guys making money over there man was 62 miles an hour Ugh, that's kind of ugly. Uh, that's one thing you guys got to got. That's one thing you guys got to know. What's the what is the trucks governing that? And are you able to make money over there? Now, in this video, she did say that. Well, I don't think it was this video because she made another video later on this evening. But um, she did say they they made money over there at U.S. Express. You know what I'm saying? They they made money at 62 miles an hour. So, yes, we can only go 66 miles per hour. Um, when safety called me, I actually got a call from a woman in safety that said I was doing 76 in a 65. Um, and then the next day I got a call. And that, that was it. That was it with the lady. Like, the conversation was done. She was just telling me, like, watch your speed, whatever. I was like, okay, it was no big deal. And then the next day... A guy from safety called me and let me move the camera really quick I don't like how it is um, a guy from safety called me and he was like oh you're doing 80 and a 65 and I was like 80 and a 65 how is that possible 80 in a 65 now I remember getting those phone calls. See, this is eerie. It, this is so eerie, man. I'm telling you, this is so eerie, y'all, that I remember getting those exact same phone calls. I got one phone call from a person the day before saying, yo, watch your speed, uh, watch your speed lockout, man, because you was doing 70 and a 65. And I'm over here like, usually when you when when you speed the camera well at that time i didn't have a camera the speed was spiked the driver tech at certain speeds so if i'm doing 65 if i'm doing 70 usually it spikes at 71 71 is when it spikes and that's when it records all right then i would get the call hey lockout or not the call I would get a, a driver tech message like, hey, lockout, um, be careful of your speed or whatever, whatever. Now, this young lady, she said that she got a call from two different people talking about she was speeding at excessive speed in the 65 mile an hour speed zone. Now, if you're going down a, a hill or a grade, you will pick up speed that way. You will pick up a little bit of speed that way. But. Not as much as you won't catch it because the driver tech will let you know that you're speeding. And at 80 miles an hour? Come on, man. Come on, man. Now, I'm beginning to see what, uh, what Jarvis is talking about. 80 miles an hour 
in the 65 without her knowing. She had to know that she was speeding because you have the driver tech would let you know. I'm just saying. And maybe if she was speeding, she caught it. You know what I'm saying? It's eerie. It's eerie, y'all. It's, it's, it's totally eerie. Now, you guys can go and check out the rest of the video. I'm just doing bits and pieces uh, on this video right here. Um, let's, let's speed it up to right about here. Um, so this is what happened when I got called into the office. Um, we went to see Dana. And as soon as I got in there, she closed the door. My girlfriend didn't come in. She closed the door. I'm guessing she pulled up an email. So I'm guessing the email said for her to give safety a call when I got in there. So she makes a call. This man gets on the phone and he's like, he basically asked me, do you remember um, when I called you about you making a U-turn? So let's pause right there. So when we left from our home time, we've all right, so let's pause, you know, because she's she's about to go into home time and I'll fast forward it right here. Uh so th and th this is how they do. This is how they do. They they bring you into the office and they they and they be like they be like, "So, uh, do you know why we brought you in here or do you remember the a conversation or do you remember this that and the third?" Now, initially she thought she was going into the office for the speeding but see remember what i told you guys about the ambush that was the ambush right there hey uh do you remember the u-turn that you did now look u.s express look, look not just u.s express companies period these companies out here be, be, be like, yo, we need drivers. We need drivers. We need drivers. But yet, y'all getting rid of y'all best drivers. I don't get it. Now, if the young lady did something wrong, just like me, because I was one and done at U.S. Express. One and done told me I had 24 hours to get that truck cleaned out and only gave me $50 to get home. At least they gave this young lady a rental car. They ain't give me shit. I'll go back and watch my video, Ambush. Pull it up, Ambush. It's the last video that I made with U.S. Express, man. I'm telling you, at least they gave her a rental car. Oh, we're going to be nice and we're going to we're going to have to get you back home. So we're going to give you a rental car to get back home. But they could at least like if she was one, she was a team driver with her girlfriend. All right. Her and her girlfriend drove the same truck. So why not just give this young lady uh, like a, a, a penalty box? You know what I'm saying? Um suspender or something like that because when he said that well we put you on probation because of uh because of speeding probation already and then they're gonna come back and say uh well remember the u-turn let's see what she has to say about the u-turn or anything I didn't do anything wrong all I did was make a u-turn and I got a call I think it was the next day um, from the from that guy in safety saying you know you made a u-turn do you know the company's policies on that and blah 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 so we had a conversation about it the conversation was done and we moved on so now fast forward to us getting to the terminal over a week later for our reset okay it's, it's been a little bit over a week now and this is when i get called into the office so that exactly exactly that's how they did me man i mean all that all, the, the the driver test shit the driver test shit was about two weeks because i was running on paper laws for two weeks 
And I made that one that that one video about the driver tech because I got pulled in by DOT. Two weeks later, I get called into the office. And that's how they do. See, I'm telling you guys, this is so eerie. It's it's almost identical to the way I was let go. So, yes, I feel sorry for this young lady for being for being terminated from US Express. A company that both of us, me and her, give the highest praise to. If you uh, a new Jack coming into the game, U.S. Express will be the company to go to. You know what I'm saying? She gave the same praise. She was at U.S. Express at first. Then she left. And then her and her girlfriend came back. Or her and her girlfriend came to U.S. Express together to team drive. And now they pull this bullshit on her. Let's continue. So now we're on the phone with this man from safety and he's saying, do you remember the U-turn that I talked to you about? So I'm like, yeah, I actually had all, forgotten all about it. So I said, yeah, I remember. He was like, yeah, you know, when you made that U-turn, you were already on probation for speeding. So I'm going to have to terminate you. Wow. Yo, I was, I was, I was legit speechless in that room. I had nothing to say and he just proceeded to talk about you know oh it's my responsibility to get you home so i'm gonna get you a rental car and blah 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 and like like it was just so nonchalant nonchalant to him and and i was just speechless like i i would i just texted my girlfriend and i was like babe they just fired me and like so she came into the room not right away but i i told her to come in after a little bit. Wow. See what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all, you you guys can can see the rest of the video. Uh, you guys can see the rest of the video on uh on her page. Her her page is I'll I'll link the video in my uh in the description. Uh, and um and yeah, yeah, yeah. They I mean she was like speechless. That's how I was. I mean, pay attention and listen right quick. That's how I was when the chick sat in the chair and told me, yeah, lockout, we're we going to have to let you go. Huh? Let me go? I said, wait a minute. Hold up. Now, I got, I got my safety bonus. I, 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 I take 90, 98% of the loads. I go up in the fucking... Northeast and stay up there because the bullshit that this lady right here be telling me. Yeah, I, I yeah, I, I, I pulled the rug up uh, from up under, uh, from up under Haley. I said, I said, you want to know what's distracting? Distraction is when you get a fucking, when you get a fucking, what's your name from? Hold on. Yeah, you better put. Hold up, y'all. Let me let me check this young lady out. Hold on. Who, who is that DJ like that? Yeah, I had to step out for a second to uh to help a fellow female driver to uh to to get up in her spot. See, that's what we do out here, man. We don't turn around and 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 whip out our phones and 
and and see their struggles and all like that. Bump all that, man. I would get out and help you out. And not a problem. She got up in there. Booyah. So, so yeah. So let me finish about what I was saying. Um, yeah, it was so eerie. Eerie, just like the way it happened to me. Like, I got up in there, and they was like, we're going to have to let you go. And I'm like, for real? I'm like, really? I, I thought I was... <laughs> It wasn't even no thought about it. I was there for two years. I got the bonus. I I got I I got the 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 five cent bonus. So I was making close to like forty at that time. I was making like forty five, forty six cent a mile. Up from thirty two when I started. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I I started at thirty two back in the day. I'm just saying. <clears throat> um. So yeah. So what they did to this young lady was 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 sucky. Now, her girlfriend like, well, shit. Since you ain't working there, I'm I'm not gonna drive. I'm not gonna drive there. The whole point of us coming there was was the team drive. And of course, she says, you know, they was making money. You know what I'm saying? I gotta admit, driving teams for U.S. Express, you do make a little bit of change. I'm just saying. But but for these companies out here that be hollering that we need drivers, we need drivers and and this, that and the other. It's kind of crazy that y'all getting rid of the best drivers that y'all got because y'all got other drivers that's doing way stupid shit than than what we do or what we done. You know what I'm saying? You got drivers sitting driving with their fucking foot out the window. I, I sent that picture in. You know, I was like, yeah, okay, I, I get one and done for this, but yet the driver that's doing this is still working for the company, though. Or how about that driver that came that that uh that came and tore up the tore up the other US Express truck in the in the yard? Y'all ain't do nothing to him. Just saying. There's a lot of dri there's a lot of worse drivers out here, out here that that you could have got rid of, but yet you want to get rid of the best drivers. Now, obviously, you guys rehired this girl because she was a good driver. And now you're gonna get you you're gonna ambush her the way you did, just like you did me. I'm just saying, it was it was eerie. So, so guys, go over to her channel. Uh, I hope to hear from her. I really do because I, I do want to get her on the show. I want to find out, and I'm 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 curious to know, uh, just like what Jarvis, you know, what Jarvis wants to know. I'm kind of curious to know was it was it more than that? Was it more than that? I mean, I I hope not. I hope not because there are. I mean, the trucking industry has changed. I I brought on. I brought on two transgender females that's in the industry. Uh, there is there's not only uh, th there's lesbians that's in this industry. There's gays in this industry. I have yet to I have yet to meet one. But I'm but if if you are if you are gay and you want to come on the show and talk uh, talk about your uh, experience in the trucking industry. By all means, come on and uh, let's ch uh, chalk it up. I mean, ch uh, chop it up right quick. You know what I'm saying? I spoke to, like I said, I spoke to lesbians. I speak to everybody. I got a whole bunch of people that I talk to. All interesting conversations. Just, uh, just link. Just go to the playlist. It's all there. <laughs> all right, all right. So. That's it for this podcast. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys listening. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. And don't forget that all button to receive all the content. You feel me? You feel me? Do you feel me? So if you guys want, if you guys want more, come and get it. Until next time, y'all. Hold on right quick. I got to get my cousin up. All right. So until next time, y'all, y'all take it easy. Holler at your boy. And yo, that's it.
Get at me Ooh, next time. That DJ like that. Yes, sir.